Welcome to Movie Recap. In today's video, we will be going through the 2019 action, adventure, sci-fi movie, Alita, Battle Angel. Turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. 300 years after an incident called The Fall, Dr. Ito, a cyber surgeon, finds a cyborg in a junkyard in Iron City. Despite its condition, its brain is intact and is still alive. Ito brings it home and repairs it. When the cyborg wakes up, she wonders at her new form. She gets up with wobby legs and studies herself in the mirror with amazement. Afterward, the cyborg slowly creeps down to the stairs to observe the people that have brought her back. Ito checks if there are any malfunctions on her, but she just says that she's hungry. While Ito helps her peel an orange, she asks whether she knows Ito and if he knows who she is. She cries upon realizing that she doesn't have her memories, but Ito assures her that she'll recall her memories eventually. Ito takes her outside, where she's awed by a city suspended in the air, Zalim. The cyborg asks if he has a name for her, so she calls her Alita. While Ito tours Alita around the Iron City, he explains how people from everywhere arrived on the fall, but nobody from there is allowed to go to Zalim. Alita notices a sports show playing on TV called The Motorball, but Ito tells her that it's not worth watching. When Ito leaves Alita alone after getting food, she shares the food with a stray dog. During this, she notices a wanted poster for a murderer who killed six women. A large police robot known as Centurion arrives, but instead of stepping aside, Alita poses for a battle, so Hugo pushes her to safety. However, the dog is still in the Centurion's way, so Alita runs back to protect it. Afterward, Hugo commends her skills and realizes that she is a cyborg. Ito returns and explains that Alita is new around the place. As Hugo leaves, Alita watches him even as Ito pulls her away. At night, someone attacks a woman from behind. Later, Alita wakes up and notices Ito coming from home with blood in his arm. The next morning, Alita watches Ito at work and notices an injury on his arm. Their cyborg patient says that she's a victim of cyborg body part stealers. He also mentions the serial murderer, so Ito tells Alita to be careful. Outside, Alita comes across Chirin, who observes her with interest. Weirded out, Alita walks away. Chirin then meets with Ito and asks about Alita. Noting that she's using their deceased daughter's body, Chirin concludes that Ito still can't let go of the child's memory. Chirin offers Ito to work together to create a motorball champions, so she can save enough money to return to Zalim. She adds that Vector can make it happen. However, Ito refuses as he's certain that there's no way back to Zalim. Meanwhile, Alita finds Hugo playing motorball with his friends, so invites her to join. However, Alita struggles to keep up in the game and slams into a pole. When she tries scoring, Tanji knocks Alita down and steals the ball. Determined to score a point, Alita kicks Tanji's feet, making him stumble and allowing her to steal the ball and score. Afterward, Hugo offers Alita a ride home. While they bond, Hugo points out Zapan, a bounty hunter, known as Hunter Warrior, whose sword catches Alita's attention. The next day, Hugo takes Alita to a secret spot, where they view Zalim. He aspires to live there and points out that since Alita was found in the scrapyard, she must have come from Zalim. That night, Alita notices Ito going out, so she follows and sees Ito stalking a cloaked woman. He realizes his weapon, so Alita jumps to stop him. However, Ito realizes that it's a trap when they get cornered by Gruishka and Romo, who recognizes Ito as the hunter warrior. Ito pushes Alita aside as he fights, but is immediately outnumbered when the cloaked woman Nisiana reveals herself to be an enemy. Ito tells Alita to run, but instead she leaps at Romo and punches him to death. Nisiana reveals that her cyborg body and swings her blades at Alita. Meanwhile, Ito attacks Gruishka but is no match against him. Instead, Gruishka slams Ito on the wall and tells him to watch the fighting women. After rolling away from Nisiana's onslaught of attacks, Alita kicks her to the wall, bashing her head in. Gruishka then challenges her. Alita evades his fists and kicks him on the head. As she descends to land an axe kick, Alita sees a memory of herself in a battle where she's called 99. Alita's kick breaks Gruishka's arm, but he escapes. Afterward, Ito claims the bounty on Nisiana, explaining that he uses the money to offer free repairs in the clinic. Alita confronts him about the memories, so Ito confesses that Alita's body and name belonged to his deceased daughter. 
His daughter was a wheelchair bound, so Ido built her a cyborg body. However, the real Alita was murdered after one of Ido's craziest patients broke into the clinic. It was the reason why Shirin left him. Ido exacted vengeance, but he got no peace even after killing his daughter's own murderer. So he registered as a hunter warrior. Ido reveals that Alita's heart is powered by an antimatter micro reactor that can power Iron City for years. Since the fall, the technology hasn't been made. So Ido concludes that Alita is over 300 years old. In Vector's place, he demands Shirin to make motorball champions for him. Gruishka suddenly bursts through the window and begs for repair. Though Shirin refuses to, she reconsiders when he says Alita did it to him. The following day, Shirin notices that Gruishka is wired. Although Vector isn't interested in helping, his disappointment changes when Gruishka speaks in the voice of Nova, a powerful scientist in Zalim. When Nova asks what happened to Gruishka, Vector and Shirin explains that Alita defeated him. Though protruded how she has such force, Nova deduces that Alita's knowledge of Panzer Crust fighting techniques allowed her to do such damage. Nova orders Chirin to rebuild Grisha so that he can bring Alita to him dead. Nova then transfers to Vector's body and promises that he'll bring Chirin to Zalim if she pleases him. Meanwhile, Ido and Alita discover that Grishka is off the bounty list, so someone must be protecting him. Immediately, Alita insists on becoming a hunter warrior to remember her past. Ido refuses to let her, so she runs away. Alita joins Hugo in the motorball match where he explains that a final champion of motorball gets to go to Zalim. During the game, a player, Kinuba, and his weapons called the Grind Cutters catch Sharon's attention. Suddenly, Tanji calls Hugo for an important matter, so they leave the match. When Kinuba goes outside later, two masked motorcyclists try to bring him down. Kinuba fights back, but more masked figures electrocute him before the Salian truck arrives to pull him in. While the crew removes Kinuba's parts, Vector arrives to complement their work. Hugo removes his mask, revealing himself and his friends as the mask's assailants. Vector pays the crew and tells them to deliver the parts to Chirin. Afterward, Vector finishes off Kinuba. The next day, Hugo and his friends take Alita outside of the city. They explain how the car wiped out everything from outside of Iron City, and all the sky cities fell after going against the United Republic of Mars, or URM. Only Zalim survived that war. They show her a sunken URM warship, hoping to trigger Alita's memory. Alita immediately recognizes it and treads into the war to get inside. Slowly crawling through the damaged ship, she rinses from the water and reaches the command deck. She opens another room with a huge orb inside and instinctively navigates the control board. The orb then unveils an unused cyborg body. Alita takes the body to Ido and asks him to replace her body with it, but she refuses. Alita points out that the warship responded to her, so she believes that she must have been a warrior. Ido finally reveals that she's a Urim Berskir, one of the most advanced cyborg weapons ever created, hence why he won't unite her with the body. Tearfully, Alita leaves. Still determined to find herself, Alita registers as a hunter warrior. Afterward, Alita goes to a bar for bounty hunters with Hugo. Zipan notices her and warns that she'll be competing with them for kills. Alita is not swayed and instead asks the hunter warriors for help in defeating Grueshka. The others merely laugh at the notion. Zipan then smugly offers to train Alita, but she declines training with someone who spends all his money on his face. Insulted, Zipan threatens her, but she just laughs. He grabs her, but she quickly smashes his head onto the table. Zipan swings his blade at Alita, so she kicks him back. Alita turns into the hunter warrior, saying that she's not impressed by the so-called heroes of the Iron City. She challenges everyone if they must help her cause if she beats them. She kicks the hunter's drink on their faces, instigating a brawl. When Alita is about to get hit, Hugo tases the enemy to help her. Ido arrives and tries to intervene. He threatens to stop repairing everyone for free, so everyone stops fighting. Suddenly, the newly repaired Grueshka arrives, and Hugo immediately notices the grind cutters on him. Nobody wants to fight Grueshka because he doesn't have a bounty on his head. When the stray dog that Alita saved starts growling at Grueshka, he commends its courage, but kills it. Though Thierry, the hunter warrior McTigu, who has an affinity for dogs, still refuses to fight. 
Using the dog's blood to mark her face for battle, Alita exclaims faces Grishka. Right away, Grishka attacks with his grind cutters, so Alita evades them. Grishka makes a hole in the floor before jumping down and dares Alita to follow, so she does. Underground, Grishka explains that their current spot is where he used to live and where he'll kill Alita. Alita jumps on Grishka, trying to kick off his arm, but he's sturdier than before. Using his new weapon, Grishka continuously attacks Alita, who evades. Alita lands a kick, which pushes Grishka, but gets a cut on her leg. Immediately, he continues his onslaught, so Alita hides behind a pillar. Grishka mentions that he was saved by the same person who shapes Alita's destiny, Nova. When she tries to attack him head on, Grishka manages to cut Alita's body into pieces. Suddenly, she sees another memory where her martial instructor, Gelda, told her that Nova was the enemy. In the present, Alita uses her remaining arm to push herself up and pierce through Grishka's eye. Before Grishka can retaliate, Ido and Hugo arrive. Maktigu unleashes his cyborg dogs on Grishka as vengeance for the stray dogs, forcing him to flee. Afterward, Ido carries Alita's body away. Seeing him, Chirin ridicules him for trying to replace their daughter with her. With no other choice, Ido reunites with Alita, with the URM Berserker's body which shifts to Alita's subconscious image of herself. When she wakes up in her new body, she immediately thanks Ido and shows it off. Finding out that Alita can produce fire on her fingertip, Ido explains how it's generating an arc plasma but doesn't know how Alita can control it. Ido then reminds her that her body is merely a shell and it's up to Alita on how she uses it. Alita soon walks with Hugo to show off her body's new features. After noting that she's a lot more touch sensitive, Hugo makes Alita close her eyes as she leans to kiss her. Meanwhile, Nova, still in Vector's body, commands Grishka to destroy Alita. He knows that she's the last of finest weapons of the URM technarchy. Thus, Nova wants Alita's heart. Hating how Nova takes control of his body, Vector decides to formulate his own plan. He invites Hugo for a drink and compliments his drive. Hugo assures that he's working hard to get Vector a million credits to send him to Zalim, but Vector is interested in discussing Alita. The next day, Alita visits Hugo. He confesses that after meeting her, he's reconsidering leaving for Zalim. However, Alita won't let Hugo abandon his dream, so she insists on helping Hugo collect the money. Alita even offers her the URM heart, adding that they can just find a cheap replacement for her. Hugo refuses, not wanting Alita to give herself away for him. Alternatively, Hugo suggests that Alita should join the motorball and become a champion. Soon, Alita gets ready for the game while Ido adds safety gears on hers, since he doesn't know how to fix the URM technology. Unknown to them, Vector has employed the help of Hunter Warriors to kill Alita while playing motorball. Meanwhile, Hugo calls out to Tanji, who is currently stealing parts from a cyborg. As Tanji confronts him, Hugo admits that he wants to quit, but they're doing wrong. When Tanji speculates that it's because of Alita, Hugo slams him on the wall. The friends get into a scuffle, but stop when Zapan arrives. Ostracizing Hugo for his thieving ways, Zapan mentions that Alita might forgive him if he's dead. Hugo points out that he doesn't have a bounty on his head, so Zapan kills Tanji's victim and frames it on Hugo, thus making him a target. Tanji tries to defend Hugo, but Zapan quickly slices Tanji in half. Immediately, Hugo throws fiery ammunition at Zapan and escapes. Meanwhile, Ido notices that the players aren't challengers, but hunter warriors. Seeing Alita enter the game's field, Vector is glad that Hugo brought her right to them. Before motorball starts, Ido warns Alita that her opponents are out to kill her. Though outmatched, she still decides that she can take them all. As the ball is launched, Alita rushes for it while her opponents immediately jump her. Alita clutches the ball and uses it to hit an opponent, successfully sending them flying back and hitting the other cyborgs. While the crowd cheers, Alita continues to hit her opponents with the ball, even beheading one. As the game progresses into a battle, Alita throws the ball onto an enemy and faces off against the others. Despite Alita's smaller stature, she flawlessly defeats a bigger opponent. Amidst the battle, Hugo calls Alita for help against Zapan, so she leaves to save him. The Hunter Warriors continue to pursue her out of the arena. When the two Hunter Warriors catch her, Alita pulls an enemy to get sliced by another, then rigs the chains to crush the last opponent into the grinder. Soon, Zapan catches up to Hugo, but Alita kicks him off. However, Alita sees Hugo on a bounty sign, hinting that he's wanted for a murder. 
Hugo confesses that he's Jack Cyborg's part, but asserts that he's never killed anyone. Alita still chooses to protect Hugo and slams Zapan on the wall, when Zapan reminds her that she's violating the Hunter Warrior Code by stopping him, Alita claims the kill instead. Alita approaches Hugo, but she hesitates, so Zapan stabs him. Centurions arrive to collect the bounty, so Alita runs with Hugo's dying body. Alita hopes to bring him to Ido, but Hugo reminds her that Centurions will kill them both if she does. Hugo confesses that he tore cyborgs apart, though he assured her that he wanted to quit because he loves her. Shiren finds out the two, but when Vector calls her, she tells him that they're gone. When Alita goes outside, she presents Hugo's head. However, Zapan realizes that Hugo's head is attached to Alita's body, keeping him alive. Zapan tries to take Hugo, but Centurions mistake this as him stealing another's bounty, allowing Alita to take a sword and slice his face. The next day, they attach Hugo's head to a cyborg body with Chirin's help. Ido reveals that the only way to get Zaleem is by becoming a motorball champion, so Hugo couldn't have bought his way up there, despite Vector's claims. When Alita asks how he knows, Ido confesses that he was born in Zaleem, but Noah exiled his family because of their daughter's illness. Meanwhile, Vector questions why Chirin let Alita go. Chirin contends that she's a doctor and a mother, thus she quits her partnership with him. Hearing this, Vector tempts her to go to Zaleem, but Chirin realizes what she wants isn't there. As she walks away, however, something blocks her path. Finally, Alita leaves to confront Vector. When Centurions demand her to surrender her weapon, she uses Zapan's blade to slice at them easily. She soon drops into Vector's office, confronting him about his lies to Hugo. Vector defends that he keeps his promise of sending people up, so he shows Chirin's dismembered body parts, which he's sending to Nova, as it's the only way to get to Selim. Suddenly, Kruishka arrives and hits Alita. While in pain, Alita sees a glimpse of when she fought against Selim. A barrier wiped out her team on the tube that connected Selim to the Iron City. When she almost fell, Gelda held onto her, reminding her to finish the mission and destroy Zaleem. Alita's body regenerates from Gruishka's attack. Gruishka strikes her again, but Alita slices his grind cutters, then cuts his body in half. Vector then pleads for his life, but she calls for Nova instead, who talks through Vector's body again. Nova tells Alita that she has exceeded his expectations, so he won't stop her for now. Alita asserts that she doesn't need his permission to live, but Nova implies that others might. He notes that they can track Hugo down, adding that he enjoys immortality by watching the others die. Pissed, she kills Vector's body. Suddenly, Ido calls Alita, telling her that Hugo is being hunted. So, he's heading to Zaleem. Alita soon finds him on the tubes that connect the cities and tries to stop him. Hugo argues that he'll die if he stays in the Iron City, since there is a bounty on him. Alita insists that this is exactly where Nova wants him to be to get her. Hugo points out that they'll always be running if she stays with him, but Alita asserts that at least they'll be together. Just when Hugo reconsiders, Nova deploys the barrier. Hugo ends up getting sliced and tumbles down the tube. Alita reaches for him, but his cyborg body starts falling apart. Hugo thanks Alita for saving him just before he falls, while Alita could only scream in despair. Months pass, and Alita is now a contender in the Motorball Champions League. Despite a chance to go to Zaleem, she's still grieving her loss. As she steps into the arena, all eyes are on her, including Nova's. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.